Dance against him. So, no one wants to work! That is a really bad thing. And, yeah, I was still thinking about that alliance with the Great British, and no. <laughs> Just no. Anyways, a call plantation's almost about finished, so that should be producing a pretty good amount of stuff from that place over there. Uh, we have lost the effects of trading in fur. Okay, we have lost the effects of that, and we just got some revolts in Dubat. Probably some kind of thing about about stupid killing. Yeah. Yeah, and now they're all dead. Or they just move probably to the next door neighbors. Which isn't very good, I'll admit that. And let's get a temple. I don't know why, but let's get a temple. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah. I'm really thinking that we should go to war with these guys next. I mean, they just... Uh, I'm really not joking. They really do lose conquer me now symbols all over them. And we just finished up this colony. So, we're going to get the cores. Make a core. We're going to get it. Wait for a second. Well, I guess we can't do it right now. Dang it. Well, we better start thinking about where our next missionary is going to be. Okay, and agriculture revolution, national modifier, or two base tax, and let's get that. Because the base tax is pretty good. Um, Alright, do we have our... When's our colony coming back? Uh, Samuel Erzins in Kizabik. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. I think they might have just established a colony. Never mind. Yeah, have all these guys here, and, hmm, should I, nah, I was thinking about maybe if I should, like, recall some of these guys so I could finish up all this, but, eh, it's all fine, it's all good, I mean, I'm still, like, the biggest nation, holy shoot, the Great British is starting to move over here, that's not good, and apparently the Kesbeks just attacked me, that's not, wow, they, they did a lot of damage to my, they destroyed my colony, how did that happen? We only have like 500 people! How did... Okay. So, note to self. Destroy the Kesbeks. That's definitely something we're going to have to do. Is destroy the Kesbeks. <gasps> did we finally convert that stupid province? Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> and finally, this will have the Russians out of our land! Oh gosh, that took too long! Oh gosh, that took way too long. Um, also, you guys are at war right now. Who are you guys at war with? The Aztecs. What? Wait, wait. What? Uh, how are you going to go to war with them, genius? You don't have any land over there. Wait, do they? No, they don't. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm almost, almost 100% sure they do not have any land they can get to. To go and go attack the Aztecs. So, I don't know what they're going to do with this war, but... It'll be interesting to find out how they get this, because... They're not going to go over there. Speaking of which, though, I also kind of want to mention that I do want to do a little bit of an Aztec invasion. Um... Not for anything really particular, just, just because we do... I think we do need to kind of lay some claim into Aztec land while we still can, before, like, massive and massive amounts of people start, like you know, going there, and let me go right here, go destroy the natives here, which is, I'm really shocked that those guys just, like, really did destroy me, and just go right here, destroy all the natives, and what I'll do is I'll actually recall my colonists, because we don't really need that many people there to guard this place, or to make it go quickly, because it's, it's basically going to grow by itself, so, we don't need that, I'll have you guys go on the boats, i have my reclaimed colonists go right here to Conroy, and we're just gonna finish out the rest of this coastline just so that we have it. I just want, I'm, I'm just making sure we have it, guys. So Manhattan and Odia just revolted against me. So let's see, that's the one in Manhattan, that's the one in Odia. So yeah, it seems like those guys are attacking me. And I'm gonna go send my soldiers to go deal with that. It's a good thing I have mostly level 2 forts in most of my places. And I still am supporting my army about halfway, yep. And we can now go attack. Yep. Now go send them over here. Hey guys, I think I need. I think I kind of. I think my colonies have now become to the point where I kind of need like two of them. 
instead of one, and no, I'm not gonna do this. Oh gosh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Actually, yes, I will do this one. Because this is the one I've been wanting from this tree line since the very beginning. Like, I've wanted that yield reduction. That way, this will start going down without me even having to do anything. And now I'm going to have to be a little bit behind administrative tech, which might affect us a little bit in terms of technology, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty good right now. 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 13. Yeah, the only thing I'm behind in is the administrative tech. I have to really tech up that. Because that's the only thing I'm behind in right now. So, anyways, let's send our soldiers back down here. And now we should get a yearly reduction in infamy. Which is, I mean, really nice. Oh, gosh. We have the money right now. Alright. So, yeah, let's do that. And, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should get a second colonial army over here in America. Like... Not as big, but just a little bit smaller, like two soldiers and one cannon, for instance. America Plains Warriors, that'd be a very terrible idea if I took that. And I think we should go after the Aztecs, because right now they're getting their butts whooped by Portugal, and I'm pretty sure the Portuguese are going to try to take all this land, so... And they're going to be basically destroyed by now, so I'm just going to do it now, because this is a very good idea. Oh, now I get it. Muscovy had an alliance with, with, uh, with the, uh, um, people. And so when that happened, oh, with the Portuguese. Muscovy had an alliance with the Portuguese, and that's how that happened. So, yeah, we're going to have to quickly go get over there as quickly as possible. Go, men, go! Quickly, before Portugal conquers everything. Yeah, because we do want to get some of those rich Aztec mines. Before they're all destroyed. Okay, transport, get down. Get down, men, get down. Get there as quickly as possible. Oh gosh. And apparently they were attacking me. Oh gosh, and apparently those guys were attacking me too. And apparently now we got a good land bridge all the way up to our northern colonies, which is good. And apparently they're the. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they're attacking me. I don't think that's gonna work, guys. Yeah. I don't know what they were trying to do there. Okay, let's get down, let's get down, let's get down, let's get down. Okay. Okay. Now that we're over here, can we get a leader? Wait, do we even have a leader still? No, we do not. Uh, let's get a conquistador ready. Just for when he's ready. And we're going to just wait here for a second. Wait for him to siege down. Okay. Now, let's get our leader. Conquistador. Conquistador. We'll now explore all the way down. Just so that we can start getting down this. The Mohawk are, revol are revolting. Oh gosh, I'm amazed at how quickly the Portuguese were able to conquer this. So what I might do is actually map this place out. Because I think I might be a little bit too late. They might actually have this all basically settled. You guys are my new army over here. You guys aren't particularly great right now, but you guys will be a good enough army. Yeah, the rebellions are probably going to succeed from right now. I just am trying to figure out where everything is. And I'm trying to figure out where this Portuguese army is. It just randomly... There it is! Holy, okay, there it is. Okay, that's where the Portuguese army was. Okay, and we're just kind of exploring right now. The Aztecs are gathering up a lot of steam, which is not good. I don't like it when the Aztecs start gathering up stuff. Um, should be watching that with a good thing. And now I got a Regency Council! What the heck?! So, apparently my leader died again. So... We got another another problem, which we have to keep dealing with, is somehow our leaders keep miraculously dying. Gosh, we, we haven't had a good leader to stay on board for like a couple years. It's like, um, it's like, I hate to admit it, but I think we are actually a legitly unstable nation. And by the way, do you have any money that you can speak of, uh, Aztecs? No, the Aztecs are completely spent. So, yeah, and I wasn't really in this right now for really big land gains. All I wanted to do was just gain one, well, let's see, where's the gold provinces? Yeah, that's why I, that's why I should be looking for gold, right there, gold, gold, gold. Oh, the precious gold right there. Is this gold? That's gold. Is this gold? I don't know. It's not telling me. Uh, is this province gold? So province, yeah, I want to know. This is sugar, no. I want the gold province right here. So once we own the gold province right there, then we will... Ignore the suffering. Uh, natives in blue size. 
So me. No, I. Ah, uh, gosh. I'm going to be. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice colonizer. So yeah, there we go. And we're gonna gain that. And we're going to crush some of these natives down here, so that we can start. Yeah, let's get all the gold provinces first, and then we'll start like. Uh, um, we'll declare, basically I want all the gold provinces right now, and then we will declare peace. It's basically my idea, and apparently there's some kind of things going on up there, I will have to deal with that, and let's just deal with this, and noble grant aid. Oh gosh, you guys are like, destroying my money right now. Okay, there we go. Now, I want this, 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 this. Okay, you guys will all give me that? Good. Send demand. Start demand. There we go. Alright. And I'm probably gonna have to, now I just realized, shoot, I'm probably gonna have to keep an army down there just to make sure we don't revolt again. So, do we have any more modifiers? Yes, I can build one more man. Good. I'm probably gonna go send this army to go deal with uh, this uprising over here. So we can kill- Oh my goodness, these guys are really starting to become big over here. And now we have lots and lots of core problems, but at least now what we are producing is gold. Which is good, in a sense. Yeah, we're producing some gold now. Which is all good stuff. So let's just start doing that, just start doing this, just start doing this, and start doing- I ah, I can't do it. So yeah, guys, now we've conquered some of the Aztec lands. It's just a little bit of a starving. Just a little bit of attack. Not really a big attack, just a little bit. Just so that we can at least lay some claim onto it. Um, yeah, we have lots of places we have to convert. Oh gosh, like, the amount of places that just went up, that just have one soldier just went up by a miraculous amount. Okay, um... Actually, we could probably just send these guys up here. I just realized, we could probably just keep these guys... Yeah, I don't think any natives in this area are going to be bigger than these, than these guys. Yeah. I'll keep about... Let's see. I'll keep about 6k down there in Mexico. And I'll keep about a good amount over there in this place. Go combine these two armies. And we're going to go take down those rebels over there that keep sieging down everything. That are annoying me by a lot. <laughs> and we just got a self-sustaining colony. That means Matuik just finished, and where should we move next? Well, I want to make sure that we do get... Oh gosh, where should we move next? Um, maybe we could start closing the gap in our colony. Just get all this. Hmm. Yeah, we could try that. Just start getting in all the gaps right here. That'd be pretty nice. Just like... Yeah. Native uprising. Oh no. That's not good. Okay, and we got all of our troops over here. Okay. We got, you guys are supposed to combine right there. Okay, we got 11k. Now let's go squash these stupid rebels before they cause me any more strife. And much grain. Much grain. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to go squash these rebels right here. And now we're getting the core of this. That was the only place we could get. And now we're going to go core this. Start converting right here. Break off a siege for that. Go right there. And now we got a decent army over here. Jackals. Okay, so now we got more rebels over there. Okay. Yep, we have a lot of rebels right now because we have a lot of political instability. Now that we've had a lot of people die. Okay, but we got we got back control of everything. Which is good. Um, and next, next war, if I'm going to go war of the Aztecs again, I want to take these two places right here. That way I can basically block the uh, Portuguese and their advancement. And what trade node is this in? The Mexican trade node. What are we doing in this? How are we... Oh, great. We can't actually see the node because it's over there. That's kind of stupid. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll just sit here for a second. And more military access from Hesse. And oh! Guys, I forgot to mention we can now integrate the uh, Hodenstein into our group. Uh, nope. Dynasty Annex. Annex these guys peacefully. We're gonna do it very, very peacefully. We would not, we would not condone violence for getting your way. I still, I don't have a core on these guys still. I still do. And they're at war with Austria, Pomerania, Milan, Milan. 
I, do I have a, don't I have a, don't, don't I have like a piece with them? No, I don't. I could literally just go to war with them right now. Yeah, because most of the allies are dead. Most of their stuff is dead. Oh my goodness, this would be like a perfect time. Let's go right here, and at this war, we could probably subjugate them. Because let's see, let's see who they allied with. Teutonic Order France. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, this would not be a good time to go to war with them. Because they will probably take me a good amount of time. A royal marriage from Great Britain. No, I will not get that royal marriage with you guys. Gosh. Get it through your thick skull! I'm not stupid, I'm not gonna give you guys a royal marriage! Okay, we're almost there. Oh gosh, and let me make sure, do we have any more overextension? Okay, zero overextension. Make a core, make a core, make a core, make a core. There we go. Just making sure we get all of that done with, Mohawk Siege over with. That probably means we're gonna have to make this a core too. Yep. Make that a core, go down here. And we're just gonna keep our army down here. Just to make sure it keeps in line. Alright. And we, we probably have the biggest colonial games out of any other country here. Seriously. It's just like, oh my goodness, we're big. Let's just do that. Get the rest of this province. Another conversion successful. Uh, send it to... I guess we have no other places, so... Let's go back to our homeland and start killing off some of the... Let's get off the most next one, the pot. Okay, go down here. Wait for these guys. Okay, the siege is finally over with. Let's get right here. Alright, and is there any culture we can destroy right there? Uh, is there like a culture assimilation thing? No, there isn't. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Probably gonna have to pay attention to that then. Okay, and... Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to pay attention to that, so I'm going to... Yeah... I'm gonna have to wait for that to become a core, I'm gonna have to wait for that to become a core. Yeah. So anyways... We... Are done! That was... Wow! That was a pretty quick endeavor. <sighs> got the rebels under control, got the stuff, and the comment excited. I was about to say this is about... This is a pretty nice era we're living in, but... No. When I say that, something bad has to happen, doesn't it, guys? Doesn't it? It just... Something bad always has to happen. Are you guys still allied with France? That is just so... What? How are you allied with France? What in the world would possess you guys to ally with France? The at war with Brandenburg. Um, I don't want to go to war with Pomerania just because I know that they'll... Teutonic Order... Could I actually fabricate a claim on the Teutonic Order? I don't think so. I don't think I could. A warmer? I could? Really? Huh. Let's do that. Let's start fabricating claims on the warmer. So I can start figuring out new ways to expand! Because that's the way we work in this game. We expand as much as possible. And we have to start figuring out a way to get down here. So... We're probably gonna have to make this an actual port because we actually do need to make this strong and powerful so let's see navy a dock yeah let's get a dock it was a dock that you needed right here right yeah because that's the only thing there get the dock so that we can have good trade there even more and yeah i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time